Hello, my little dumplings. I'll do a quick video. Who am I missing? Who's missing? Oh, somebody's already under there. Under the cot. There she comes. That's Zach. Zachy, what you hiding for? Am I filling the water? Sammy's the most interested in the water so far, I think, is what I've observed. We're out here. It's going to be about 92 today. So hi, Brand. Or, I mean, maybe Molly. Maybe Molly will call you from now on. Maybe Molly instead of Molly. But like I say, um, thank you to all the future puppy owners who are also going to be just so tremendous, like I've been blessed with and so grateful. And again, in this case, there won't be one puppy left home alone during the day. And that's just something you're so grateful for. Uh, but anyway, everyone's been patient, of course, and it's taking longer than usual to decide. Not only do I want to know all the right personalities, which might be <laughs> the most important thing, but on top of it also is you are trying to make is the best decisions you can for show. And at this point, we have three puppies going to show homes. One pretty experienced. She's done juniors and uh, UKC and one or two times in AKC. And this is going to be her first AKC show dog. She's in Michigan, which is awesome. So we're hoping that works out for her. Most likely, she's one of the ones we know the puppy for, too. Ah, uh, yes. Who's this little play in the tug of war with me? That's Saki again. Boy, you're making the moving around. Hi. Hi, little baby Molly Brandy. And then there's everybody. Uh, and then, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Then we have two people who are just new to showing. And they're both kind of in the Southern Cal area. So that'll be perfect. And I have wonderful people. I want to thank Rossi and Christina both for helping, agreeing to help me. And I'll be doing the same for them if they ever place puppies up this way. Um, it's really nice. I do go down there once in a while, but not as frequently as I would like. And so that'll be fun. And of course, both the puppy owners will be coming up this way once in a while too for shows. Um, and then we all have the national next year. And then I'm holding out on both the boys' placements right now, but hopefully I'll have something determined in the next few weeks because I don't, for their sake, want to hold them forever. But I am hoping at the very least for regional placements um, somewhere in California, Washington, or Oregon, but ideally someone who would be very happy to have me get that show championship for them, which most people feel very happy about when they know all the benefits that a dog gets from that kind of training and environment and it's usually pretty quick with the boys but the big thing is is we want if they're the boys either of them can be perfect with their bites and testicles and uh, the rest right now temperament on both of those two boys seems amazing but what we want is to be able to use them potentially as breed contributors, which doesn't happen much with males. They're just not used very frequently. And you know, I've had several champion males and several, most all my males are placed in unneutered situations and we've only bred one dog one time. So it's you know, kind of a high bar, but it's that's why you want the option when you have promising puppies like these. So anyway, that's an update, and I definitely think, I hope that all the potential owners will listen to this one. I think a couple of you aren't on Facebook, but I know at least uh, you are on the on YouTube channel, so I'll put it on YouTube and then share it on Facebook. And uh, here they all are. I'll try to give you guys a little closer look, too. Um, so who's these three? Hello, boo-boos. That's my Zach, precious angel. That's my little pink, or no, Dolly and pink, yep. Dolly, Pink, and Zach, and then here's our Molly Brandy, and then here's our beautiful Irie, and then right over here is Sammy, and attacking him is uh, Rain, and then over there is our last caddy. Caddy, what you doing? You're beautiful. Oh, oh now let's not get crazy. Let's not get crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not get too crazy. Yes. That's the thing, too, is I want to consider who's going to homes with other dogs, Obviously, they'll never be left alone with other dogs until they're much older, like closer to a year or two. But it's still important to assess uh, the situation. 